Hi everyone, Ray from Pro String with another stringing <laughs> tutorial. I feel like I've done six of them today. Six or seven of them today, back to back pretty much. Just swallowed my lunch pretty much. But anyway, all good in the hood. Right, today's racket is on a tennis racket which is already set up on our machine, uh, which is a Wilson Bayardo Original. It's also the sister or the brother string uh, of the Wilson Bayardo original would be the Wilson Bayardo light, which is actually also in the same room, which is behind the camera, which you cannot see. Um, <clears throat> looks like I've left, so I took this string out of a reel the other day just to count, to make sure I had enough string to let the client know whether or not we had enough string. Um, it was unclear, but there was just about enough. And now I noticed that the racket he dropped off is an oversized, 102 square inch, but I think, yeah, we've got loads of string. Right, today's string is the RPM Blast. Uh, this racket is a head radical light mid plus. So that's 245 grams, 1819 stringing pattern, 18 mains by 19 crosses. A little bit different of a, not such a common uh, stringing pattern. Excuse me. Um, what else do we need to know? 1819 stringing pattern, 245 grams, very light racket, 102 square inches. So it's an oversized racket. Anything over 100 square inch is considered an oversize. Um, so there you have it. We have eight holes in the bottom, four loops, two, two, two on each side from the middle. So we must start from the bottom, from the bottom, we obviously then our next one goes downwards as you've just seen 18 so that means i need to i've got one string to each side so that means i have uh eight more to go 18 divided by two is nine minus one minus one because we've got one already in place so eight more to go one two three four five six seven eight okay Leave yourself a little bit extra string to make sure you reach your tension head and don't have to use your uh, starting clamp. If you have one, hopefully starting clamp looks like this for those of you just starting out. Very important tool. You're all also very important too. Be careful with it if you're just starting out. Your cutters flat on one side, as you can see. That way you can hold it nicely against the frame without touching the frame ideally and cutting your knot. Your angled pliers, nice for getting close to the frame. Again, don't touch the frame if possible. Instead of this machine came with both, I've never used them. Your normal straight angled pliers. I need to cut the string. So all I did was measure one side and then I just ran my hand and fingers through the string to find myself an equal side. So we're gonna clamp at the top. Clamping at the bottom wouldn't really work. It would work, but you'd have to pull two strings at once, and I am very much so against doing that. It's not, oh, sorry. I've now just learned today, somebody contacted me. Funny enough, through a video I did, it was actually a world-renowned tennis stringer, Richard Parnell, a good friend of mine, um, <clears throat> said, yeah, he stumbled across one of my videos and asked me how, um, but maybe it popped up in his feed if he's uh, looking for people out there stringing, but. He also offers, uh, is it GS, GRSA or GSRA um, uh, stringing course. So if you're looking for an official stringing course, that is a good one that I recommend. But anyway, the small gap here, leave the gap so that the racket can fall into its correct shape. So three to each side as always, guys. If you've seen any of my videos, you'll see that it's always the same. And yes, it is always the same. My videos are all very similar, probably very similar wording always. However, I'm trying to put as much content out there for you guys sometimes trying to find a specific racket um, that you don't know how to string or just need a little bit of advice to understand one thing or another. And that is kind of my uh, prerogative to throw as much, as many rackets out there as possible because I get huge amounts of rackets. Uh, therefore, I have access to lots of different frames um, so if I can be of help then all, by all means um, 
talking about stringing courses, if you're looking for someone to teach you how to string in London, um, and you just want hands on, not so much uh, a book in hand, but a racket in hand, I find that um, with all due respect to the stringing uh, courses that, you know, they give you all the theory and stuff and they'll, they'll show you how to string a racket, but a lot of times they send you off to go find experience somewhere, which is understandable in a way because you know, just the, the working, you know, just the way, the way these uh, courses are, it's, it's very hard to sit with somebody for a month and teach them how to string and make sure they become a good stringer. So they tell you to go off and get some experience and hopefully wherever you do end up learning or someone teaching you, hopefully they're teaching you the right things. And if you are signed up to a course, then you'll probably have your your uh, theory. Use that. If someone is teaching you, go through your theory and make sure that person is teaching you correctly. Just as a word of advice. But back to this. Now I'm on my fifth. So I did three, three. Three to six, three to six again. I'm on my fifth. Just checking out my window. The rain has finally stopped. Wow, that was a that was a long shower. <laughs> Even for London or UK standards, that just was a uh, been raining since last night, early last night, like midnight maybe maybe before, yeah man 11 p.m 12 p.m and it's just stopped now so it's been pretty much if i'm not mistaken obviously i wasn't checking that throughout my sleep but i could hear it in my sleep most of the time um it's now 2 2 12 p.m london uk time so eighth and now we're going to up the tension on the last main before tying our finishing knot, which will be a Parnell knot. I've got my tension 15, 20%. RPM blast is the string that we're using today, guys. <clears throat> very, very hard string on the arm. Don't recommend it unless you play at a high, uh, high level. And even then it does create, I find, Lots of uh, issues with people's arms, unfortunately. So just keep an eye on that. There are softer polys out there without trying to sell you mine, which of course is the Pro String Nemesis, Pro String Pentagon, Pro String Big Blue, and Pro String Firepower. All much softer than this crap, sorry. Yes, I'm anti RPM blast. People tend to uh, Google best tennis string and Google throws out their RPM Blast and Luxilon Alu Power, which is more for people who are breaking strings chronically as to kind of your normal intermediate level player. And we up our tension again. We are on our ninth and last um, main. Again, so uh, I don't think I mentioned in this video. So in this on this racket, I can easily tie my finishing knot on the eighth main string so the second last main string down around and back through my first knot that is a parnell knot <clears throat> make sure you take the leg any leg out of the knot make sure you pull that appropriately don't go crazy on pulling the knot though you will break the string and you'll have to start again if you haven't got a reel of string you'll be buying yourself or your client a new set of string and if it's a reel don't be, uh, don't be a bastard and don't not tell them that you've had to use more string. They may be okay with it, they may not be, but always be honest in every way you can. Two, if you, just, if you do break their string for whatever the reason, whether it's on the knot or not or any other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just gonna go for eight. I know that seven and a half is probably enough, but it's 102 square inch, so slightly oversized racket, so. There you have it. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull my knot. That's all I'm gonna do is just give it a little tug, a little pull. I'm going to let the machine take care of my starting knots. So there's no need to really get too fixated about pulling really hard on your starting knots. So 
So I'm going to weave one string and then I'm going to weave another and that is considered stringing one ahead or one in front, same thing, different wording. Get my clamps out of the way. Where are you guys watching from? I'm really curious. I don't know if I can, I'm, I'm, I'm crap. I'm really crap when it comes to um, IT and stuff. So I'm sure that YouTube allows you to see where your view viewers are from. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe not. Feels a bit soft, give it a little turn. Make sure your clamps feel not too tight when you're clamping the string in itself. They're not too loose where you think there might be some slipping. Sometimes you can't necessarily even see the slipping, but that will cause you to lose tension as well. This person is uh, on their last string, like I've mentioned on their reel, they will change to uh, pro string strings. They've been waiting a very long time. I'm actually going to suggest them changing to a multi-filament or to at least try a multi-filament out, give it a chance, um, or a hybrid, which is, in theory, a hybrid is two different strings, but it should be a soft string and a hard string, in my opinion, not necessarily just uh, two different polyesters. In my book, that doesn't fall under hybrid. It's just two different polyesters, poly, poly, not really a different setup, not really uh, a true hybrid. True hybrid is either a polyester with either or a multi-filament synthetic gut or natural gut. That is what a hybrid is in reality, I believe. If I'm not mistaken and you know better, please tell me. That's also cool. I won't be offended by advice or anything I'm doing or saying wrong. Feel free to speak or I guess write me a, a co in the comment box. Don't be too much of an ass. <laughs> <coughs> if there's something I'm doing really wrong or whatever it is, please just kind, be kind, be nice. <clears throat> I'm actually looking into, I mean, I've been stringing since the age of 12, so I do have a decent amount of knowledge. Um, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so I've actually, <laughs> after my buddy uh, Richard Parnell reaching out on a small little detail, he caught on one of my videos. Um, <clears throat> I may do his course, like I mentioned at the beginning. If you're looking to do a course, he's your, he's your man. I think he was just saying that he's finishing up his. Uh, I think the course is currently in French and English, uh, and I think he is expanding to Chinese now. He's going to do his website in Chinese and uh, target the uh, the Asian market, <clears throat> or at least the Chinese market in itself. Um, so let's see. Good luck to him, and I'm sure that'll drive uh, a lot of clients. Obviously, a billion and something people in uh, in China. <clears throat> So if you're able to target your business in any whatever business it might be in China, then well, you've uh, you're definitely probably in a good place if it's uh, if it works out. I'm gonna check my camera, make sure my angle is cool. Okay, it looks good to me. Let me know if you have any better angles or better ideas. So it's a bit tricky because you've got the whole racket, 27 inches swinging around. So. There's only so close you can get. Um, I guess I could lower the camera, the tripod, sorry. Which obviously the camera on my phone is on. iPhone 15 Pro Max just purchased a few days ago. I dropped my other phone, which was an Android. <clears throat> Done and dusted. Screen no longer turns on or off. Can't see anything. Phone turns on and off, but effectively can't see how to turn it on or off. So I've actually let the alarm, uh, an alarm went off on it yesterday close the door in a room and let the alarm drain the battery. I do need to follow up and finding a new screen. Just wanna make sure I don't have lots of stuff on there that I might need. So a bit of a problem when you have an Android, don't find that with the Xiaomi. Xiaomi phone, X-I-A-O-M-I, M-I-11. -I, 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 I know I'm talking about phones <clears throat> while stringing, but um, it was an Android and yeah, it just doesn't, it's not like the iCloud. I did, uh, I did have an iPhone five years ago. Since then, had two different I Androids and now back on the iPhone, back on the wagon. 
<clears throat> I do find the RPM Blast is an incredibly hard string on the arm. So, like I say, you know, should be uh, playing at a high level if you are planning on using the RPM Blast. And even then, I think there's better options out there. Pro String Pentagon, Pro String Nemesis. But people will tend, we are targeted to buy big brands. They're not always the best thing though, guys. Not always the best thing. There's so many, so many options out there these days when it comes to tennis string, it's just incredible. They all get made in the same place. Most of the best polyesters do get made uh, in Germany, right? We, we uh, produce our strings as well. Uh, so you have that, and then also, um, of course, you've got Luxit Island Power, which is in a bit of a league of its own, a nice, softish co-polyester string, which is uh, fantastic. But it, if you do play at a high level, it just breaks looking at it. So at 200 pounds a reel or whatever it's coming out to now, 220 even. Uh, the days of paying 160, 180 are gone. I do uh, buy directly from Luxilon, so I do. If you are looking for a reel of uh, Luxilon Alu Powers, reach out happy to give you a good price especially if uh, you're in the uk and shipping isn't that expensive then i can uh, definitely help you out at a cheaper price that's kind of my uh, my idea to help people save a little bit of money um i make a little bit even if i make a little bit less that's fine too but at least with my brand string it's all about having a good string for a very good price so yeah if you stumble across this video and Hearing me out, happy to also send sets uh, free of charge. But the only way I know you're serious is if you pay for shipping. Uh, I gave I give up on giving away strings and posting them to people unless it's uh, in my interest. I guess you know, a big tennis club or a stringer or someone like that. Then I will. Um, I might I might possibly fork out for um, for the shipping, which is not much. At least shipping in the UK is three, four pounds, depending on what, how quickly you want it to arrive and sign for and all that stuff. But yeah, generally speaking, I will not spend money on shipping anymore. I'm happy to give you the strings for free, but if you're not willing to spend three, four pounds, three, four euros, three, four dollars, or well, dollars maybe not, because for shipping to the States is a lot more than that, maybe 10. But I'm happy to give you one of each strings to try out. If you're a stringer, it's all about, you know, if, even if you're not doing a massive amount of rackets and just do rackets for friends, I mean, it's all about profit, I guess, end of the day. If you want some more pocket money or, you know, side gig, buy a good string for cheap, whether it's me or not. Why not? Why, why, have, why spend more? You know, the thing is, we're also, um, how do you call it? We're also um, uh, dependent I guess or or so big brand orientated I'm the opposite hence the Android Android phone for five years I just I don't like giving my money to big brands sometimes yes they're better and they offer better stuff and um, my rackets I play with Diadem smaller company making better rackets than the commercial companies in my opinion have a look at their there's a good review on uh, on YouTube as well for the Diadem Nova to set an example racket i use guys i did up the tension sorry i was babbling, babbling away up the tension my last finishing knot um parnell knot <clears throat> you should be able to, to take your uh, racket off the machine very easily i don't know if you guys can see but very little effort and that is a rock considering 55 pounds at um on 102 square inch, I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Okay, 102 square inch, square inch isn't that much of an oversize. It's the smallest oversize, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I've ever seen a 101. But there you have it, guys. The Head Radical Light. It's 1819 stringing pattern, 245 grams. Some if I'm not, yep, 245, 6.6 .6 ounces. I will put a little sticker on the inside with who strung the racket. Obviously, myself, Ray, the tension, the date, and the string, RPM Blast. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully there's some valuable stuff. Hopefully I didn't talk too much crap. Um, but there you have it. All right, guys, racket in under 20 minutes completed. Um, 
Take care, guys. Happy stringing. Bye-bye.